check it out. So David has a, a male papaya that has changed to try to make fruits. Because you see, you, only male papayas have these elongated uh, flower clusters. But see, so you can see they're making fruit. I was hoping to find one just to see if it was showing like a, a female part, but I'm, I'm only seeing like male flowers. You know how skinny they are? Sometimes it just happens. It's like rare. I don't see any female flowers. That's the crazy part. Female flowers are a lot are fat, you know. They're close to the trunk. Here. Right. Interesting. Right. So these are the only few you've already had. Yeah. That's cool. Just shows you what, how like nature tries to adapt. And it's covered in the male flowers. You'll get good pollination, but they'll start getting genetics in these bisexual papayas where you might just get a straight female or just a straight male. I'll have to give you some of the bisexual ones I got. Because they'll, they'll make fruit all the time. These smell good too. I love the smell of it. Yeah, I've got papayas all over the Yeah, you do. Here's some pigeon peas. Have nice Malanga right there. Yeah, Malanga, yeah. Wow. And these were and these uh, are red bananas over here. No way. You can tell because of the trunk. It's like reddish. Here's some thick. Get a little hand there. Wow, look at that. Yeah, that's kind I of love small. them. I love them. There's another red one. Ones. Uh, male wow, that's, that's, a, that's a big one. You get if you want to change it to a full on female, you just stab some sticks in between the the, the middle part of it, like cross it. Oh really? It'll stress it out enough to be like, okay, I'm gonna start making more f female flowers and bisexual flowers. Mm. And I learned too, like when the, the papaya is a little baby, like a seedling, you know the long tap root? Right. Just chop that off and it'll force it to be a bisexual. I've never heard that one before. That's true. I've had real good luck with it. All mine have been bisexual. Oh. And it could just be that I got a papaya, but it seems to be work I've done with other ones. And then one I didn't do turned into a male. Mm. Interesting. So I'm just gonna keep doing it. Seems to seems to be working. And like like I said, if it starts making the flower, I've seen people where they stress the tree out, and the the tree just heals back easily. You stab some something sharp in between. You just look online how to change a male to a female, mm -hmm. and they'll show you. But I mean, I like the the males look beautiful. Yeah, they are. They're unique. It's helping helping the bees out, so you're, there's nothing yeah. wrong with it. And I've got enough of the others that I just, you know. Just leave it, let it be. Yeah. I like it. Thank you, David. This is so cool. <laughs> We're at David's Land. Here's his Nam Doc Mango, making all the flowers. So this year, you'll probably get a lot of fruit. I'm sure we'll get a good bit. You see the their main pollinators are flies. Do you get other pollinators like bees and? Oh yeah, the bees are. That's a cool looking fly. And one of these we grafted onto Marjorie's parents' tree, and it took. Here's a cassava yucca. 